today with Elliot from Grafton's Village Cheese Company and he's going to take us on a tour and show us how all this cheese gets to the front retail store. So let's take a walk. Here in this first bat, we have uh, 1,500 gallons of milk. It's at 90 degrees. Okay. Now, how does the milk get to be 90 degrees? So it's, it's heated very quickly in the other room. Okay. And then, uh, we had lactic acid cultures. Okay. Those are going to ripen for about an hour. So that's what's going on right now. And what do the cultures do to the milk? So they're going to start building up the lactic acid, which is going to drop that pH. This is the first step in the process to make cheddar cheese. And this milk comes from local cows? So we get our milk from about 35 local farms, primarily in Vermont. All right, Elliot, how come this vat here is empty? We just emptied this vat. Uh, we drained the curds and whey over to the finish table, which is going on here to the left. Uh, you can see they're forming the curd mats down both sides uh, as they drain the liquid up. What does that mean, curds and whey? I always heard that as a nursery rhyme someplace. So, yeah, Little Miss Muffet. Exactly. It's, uh, it's a very sweet, uh, uh, sorry. So right now it's very sweet. Uh, there's really not much flavor to it at all, but, but sweet. So, so the rennet the, is an enzyme that makes fat and protein stick together in milk. Oh, all right. And so what's happening is that keeps binding together. So those curds, the solids, are now binding together. And as they're draining the liquid, the whey out of it. Alright. So right now they're going to form this corner up in it. Uh, it'll show you just, just kind of how quickly that all binds binds together Whoa, look at this. And to form that mat. And you can see uh, why we call it handcrafted. Uh, yeah. Now we're going to fast forward about an hour. Once those uh, curd mats have been formed, we'll cut them into slabs and start stacking them. What Josh is doing right now is cheddaring. Cheddar is a verb. It means to flip. Ah. So cheddar cheese needs to be flipped. The other reason that we flip this, if we left it stacked together, this would form one solid one block solid again piece. because of that. Because of that rennet, it would want to bind back together. And also, we're using gravity to press way out. We're trying to get more of that moisture out, and uh, this is alternating our levels. Where getting does... the blocks from the top to the bottom. Oh yeah, I see what he's doing. Where does the flavor from cheddar, it has a distinct flavor, is it? So for us, it's in the you... natural aging. It's in the... So, yeah, we're not adding any flavorings. That's the, the, the natural aging process. Uh, those, those well, enzymes and the, the How does that vary from ripening. like Swiss? Like they have so different flavors. Different, it's going to be different starter cultures. Oh, uh, all right. You know when you well, okay when you add those cultures at the beginning, uh, it'd be a different. Yeah. Those are a gas emitting culture. So as right. they die off, they as they die off, they emit a gas bubble. These are cheddar cultures. So, so what are you doing? Uh, I'm collecting whey to take a sample. Measuring the pH, so that's that's what's measuring our, our lactic acid buildup, is as that pH comes down. So after this forms up, and before it gets over there, does do you do you cut it here? How does Correct. That... They'll cut these into slabs. They'll be about the size of a concrete block. Okay. Uh, to start stacking them, and then that stacking and flipping. So it's going to press them out to those uh, slabs yeah, yeah, yeah. over there. Okay. Like I said, that's about an hour. You know, fast forward an hour.
What do you keep in here? This is a dry storage and shipping and receiving. Uh, dry goods shipping and receiving area. All right, I saw over here there was stuff coming out yeah, on the conveyor. So this is finished goods that's been labeled now. She's casing them up and uh, uh, building pallets that we shipped out. Well, I'll tell you what, it's nice and cool in here. What temperature do you keep it at? We maintain a 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So this and is our finished goods section. Uh, all our cup product for, for shipping out. And then here on the left is our uh, 40 pound blocks that are aging. We do naturally aged cheddar. They're going to come in here for one to six years. Wow. So these products here that are finished, they're going to get shipped to different places? Yeah, different, different customers, fill different orders, yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, will it have your label on it, or will it have their label on it? These are all our labels. Okay. Um, some, some will go, like, to food services. It's going to a food service. Okay. So that will then be sold with their product on it. These louvers that you see in the wall, these right. are... Uh, I'm going to start over. Okay. So these louvers you see in the wall are part of a system, it's called Free Air. Both the Grafton facility and the Brattero facility have these in their coolers. So when the outside air temperature gets down below 35 degrees, you'll see a fan up in the ceiling. There's a louver that opens up there, and then these two louvers on the wall will open and it'll start circulating the outside air and shut off our large compressors to save smart. energy. Smart, yeah, smart. Yeah, it saves us a lot of, uh, Money, especially even spring and fall at night, it's going to get down below it's, 35. Yeah, so it'll kick on Vermont, at night. Yeah. Right. Then in the day, it'll close down when it warms up. So what is this thing here? So this is our smoker. It's a low temperature smoker, about 65, 70 degrees. Uh, maple sawdust generates the smoke that goes in uh, for about four hours. So the maple sawdust, how do you, how does that turn into smoke? It's an electric hot plate, similar to like uh, in your oven. It yeah, drops, yeah, yeah, drops yeah, yeah. on, drops on meter, uh, oh, okay. a meter grate down onto the okay. side there. Came into a different room. Tell me what's going on here. Yes. So now we got the cheese that's coming in to be cut. Right. So she's cutting that in the eight ounce bar. Um, and then she's double checking the weight on each block over at that scale. Um, make sure that each bar is full measured. Goes through a metal detector. And it comes down this conveyor belt when they're putting it into a trial back bag. What's the metal detector for? Well, just in case there's any metal in the process. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of pumps and handling of the exactly. product. Exactly. So, to ensure a safe product. It's all about the same quality. Then it goes into the rotary vacuum chamber. And that seals it? Yep. They're going to put a vacuum seal it. And then down at the end, they're putting Oh, yeah. 
just gave me a piece of cheese to taste and I'm gonna taste it. Took one bite and it's pretty good. And I can't stop, so I'm gonna take another bite. Mm, yummy, yummy, yum. All right, so if I was coming in here, I see you have cheeses from around Vermont, and what if I was looking for, I want to buy some Grafton cheese. Where would I go? On this counter, any place? There's some here on this counter. There's some Shepsog here. So this is a okay. sheep's milk, cave-age, and uh, sheep and cow, sheep's milk, sheep and cow, okay. cave-age. <laughs> and then to your left, we have some cow's milk, Grafton, Queen of quality, so this is going to be from a 100% uh, registered Jersey cow, fed only grass in the summer. So this is a seasonal product. Uh, mm. So only certain certain criteria have to be met to get the Queen of quality label. And then that's aged in the caves in Grafton as well. And then some little cloth bound cheddar. So those are our, our specialty cheeses on the, on the counter. Uh, there's some Bear Hill, it's another cave. It's a wash rind cheese from Grafton. Um, so how did you learn about all this? I mean, this is pretty complicated for me. All on the on the job training. <laughs> yeah. But then our our traditional cheddars are gonna be off to your left. Uh, we see the biggest group of people. Uh, all right. Well, you had a lot of people in here for 10 or 10.30 in the morning. On a Tuesday morning. Exactly. Um, so tell me about the Wyndham Foundation, is that what you were going to say? The Wyndham Foundation is what owns Grafton Village Cheese. It's a non-for-profit uh, based out of Grafton, Vermont, whose mission statement is to promote Vermont's rural communities. So we're a for-profit company that uh, helps with that endeavor. Wow. 